Hello, 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 and welcome to Your Aunties Could Never, first episode of the new year, 2023. I'm Auntie AK, and I'm here with... Auntie Nana. Auntie Shade. And... Uncle Femi? Yes. yes. Are you confused? <laughs> Man's not uncle, you know. Man's an uncle. I'm 36. You That's might one be denied, you know. You're in your nice fairy cardigan. <laughs> that is still kind of young. It's still kind of young. When do you yeah. think uncle... Ter- I like, feel when like you, you have to be at uncle. least 40 and then you have to at least you could I've got grey hairs that's one I was mm-hmm. gonna that's say. one of the standards <laughs> yeah. and then and then you have to be in your 40s I reckon and also you have to have like I reckon you have to have about three or four nephews real ones or fake ones and okay. you, you don't have that I don't have no nephews in real life ne- real or fake do you have nieces? I don't have real oh. nephews do you, do you have nieces, do you have nieces? Fake ones. <laughs> you know, no, no, no. A couple fake ones. Because you literally have introduced me to a niece. I said, this is my niece. You know what? Yeah, she is. She's actually, weirdly, she's my goddaughter. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I was just and about to say. So she's my cousin. She's my second cousin. Whatever the case is. Her mum is my cousin. And does she call your uncle? Huh? You know Don't she even does. try Don't and try and call you she family. Does. She calls me. She can't call you by your She does call me uncle. Yes, yes. she, she does. can't call you by your first <laughs> Uncle Femi. You know, like, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a Cameron song. I love it. It's like, and with clips. Mm. It's called You Should Call Me Uncle. Basically. Ooh. Very funny. And, you're an uncle, and you got uncle um, I've got uncle vibes. Yeah. Yes. I've had that since secondary school. There you go. There you go. So just you know Getz, yeah? Getz the rapper. Let me tell you this story. It's kind of funny. He insists. That I'm older than I am. That I've got African age. <laughs> oh no! Every birthday, he's on to me. He says me voice notes. I can't he's always trolling me, saying it's not my real age, Femi. You need, you need to stop lying now. Well, so you were Nigerian. Like, you were born here. I went even. born here. It's really my age. Come on, Femi. What you said? My mom's been lying. My mom's been lying to me this whole time. But yeah, gets insists. Like he properly like insists, and I'm like, bro, like why would I lie to you? Forty one. Like that? he's not on it. What's like, that? Forty one. No? What's that um, story that's just come out about twenty? Um, African footballers. Oh, Cameroonians. Yeah. Cameroonians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've not passed But that's test. me. That's me. I'm going to have to do a test and publish it to say, no, this Please. is my real age. What age test? You know, whatever. You know, no, they, they, t- they test your like bones. Under 20. Huh? So like in football. They test your bones. Yeah. So in bones. football, they have like under 20s or like oh, yeah, yeah, under, yeah, yeah. but like Cameroon kept putting forward players. That were 40. They were like 40, 50. <laughs> Like I love the hustle. Yeah, um, Femi, can you tell the world what you, who you are, what, what you do furthermore? I do lots of things, but like primary things, um, I make film. I'm known. I initially was introduced to the world as an actor. Uh-huh. Um, I still do that. I plan to do a little bit more of that this year. Okay. And um, I'm a filmmaker. Um, I do a lot of that at the moment. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, I think that might be it. So like, I own a basketball team. Um, yeah. um called the London Lions. What well, popping right now? This is the littest we've yeah, ever been. Yeah, it's wicked. Like, it's, it's the wicked. littest. Like, there was one point I was trying to get people to come to games. People were yeah. trying it. Now like, everyone's <laughs> asking me to come to games. Like, can I just, no seats. Can I make it clear that I was coming to the early games? No, you were. Yes, you were. I was. You were. I said you were. I thought you said you were. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was very funny. You know what I mean? I thought, I thought yeah, you were like, no, no you like, weren't. Like, the thing is, it was like, you know, something that came to us and like we saw it as an opportunity to build something really interesting and it made sense. For the culture yeah, and yeah, make makes that sense. work. And like this year I wanna like get involved in football, like in a mm-hmm. grassroots level. Mm-hmm. Like because um my son's really passionate about football. Yeah. Like, I just do stuff that I see. Like mm-hmm. so like I would be like, Oh, I take my son football every week. How can I t- how can I get into that hustle? Like yeah. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> where's the nice. business? So yeah, so I'm an entrepreneur, but like primar- primarily I am an actor and a filmmaker. All right, cool. Who are we welcoming to the family this year? And this one's a little bit different. It's like a bit of a reflective one. Like who mm-hmm. do you think just bossed it last year that we just want to celebrate for the first show of this year? Can I just jump in? Go on. He's my nephew. He doesn't know that I'm his auntie, but Stormzy. I hear that. I love what he did with his video and just mm. all of that culture, just putting in all of the genres that make up black British culture. I love that. So he's my person. I personally want to celebrate my nephew that's a oh, good one that's a good one i think i'm gonna go with meg the stallion you know mm. okay yeah just because i feel like she was vindicated a little bit mm. yeah not fully because people are still no, the men were doing her dirty yeah, yeah we'll we'll get get onto that. Dirty. we actually yeah. get onto that so like i think yeah meg i like that yeah, yeah. person of the year yeah mm. <sighs> i hadn't thought i hadn't I was trying Are to you looking at me? This is your win. thing. I got yeah, lost. I got lost. See you at the This is your event. This is your event. I got lost. Oh, this is the best. Because you know what? When I was thinking about it, I was like, yeah, Stormzy. Yeah, Meg. So, yeah, Stormzy. Yeah, Meg. I think that, that we can go with those two. 
Because there's a bunch of people, you know me already, I take 10 years to get to the point. Do your top one that's just popped into your head. The first one that popped into my head was actually... Make it good. Oh, why you br- apply your was, It was Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Just because why? I think... Because he just gave... Me, do you know what it was? I actually am a concert person. I haven't been able to go to a concert for a long time because... Mm. And I think music's not hitting the way music's hitting that it used to, well, for me as an auntie. Kendrick Lamar gave one of the best concerts I've ever been to in a very long time. It was very hip-hop. And he himself, as an artist, I just love his music. Um, and I'm a big Kendrick Lamar fan. So music-wise, culture-wise, Kendrick Lamar. But definitely Stormzy and definitely Meg. Okay. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Do you know what? The only person that I felt last year, and this is like sad because um, his concert didn't end well, was Ashake. Oh, the whole year oh, for me, yeah. I went to Nigeria yeah. in March mm. and I heard, like, I knew his music before, kind of, but I wasn't really rating it like that. And then I went to Nigeria and they were playing this, um, the video with Burner Boy all the time in mm. March. Yeah. Like, I was there early March. And then from March to like the end of the year, what he's been able to achieve, I thought was fantastic. It's mm. a shame about what happened at the concert. Yeah, yeah. it is a shame. Good yes. for you on that. That's a good one. Thank you. Yes. All right, guys, what have you heard? This is where we get into the news and culture of the day, mm-hmm. of the week, of what's been going on. Mm-hmm. We've got a couple of stories. I don't know what you lot want to jump into. We've got the Church of England is now going to spend 100 million in a bit to atone for its slave trade history. Mm. Um, Essex schools are banning romantic relationships because they're trying to say that, you know, Kids need to focus on their books and not each other. I like that. Okay, we we'll go. Do you want to go for that? As an African uncle, I like that one. Why? Yeah. Do you know what it is? I just feel <laughs> like it's gonna be it's gonna be impossible to police. Yeah. But I just feel like actually, in a way, um, sometimes there's like things in school wh- where young people don't know how to interact properly. Like people, like you know, pretending to go out with someone, maybe mm. not going out with someone. People mm. embarrassing people, all of that stuff. Yeah. I just feel if you say it, it's not allowed then actually it creates a standard for them to aim towards, which I don't think it's possible for them to follow that through because what are they going to do? Follow the kids to the bus stop. And let it's me unrealistic. Re- let me it's explain. unrealistic, it, it but it's good to have it as a rule. Let me explain the story. A Chelmsford secondary school has been criticised over new rules which ban people from hugging and holding yeah, hands. Yeah. Highland schools so they do not allow romantic relationships and students who are caught using mobile phones could have them locked in a safe for the rest of the day. Um... Doesn't that happen? So like they're, they're not literally not allowed to touch each other between members of the school community, and um, you know, that it, I think it's weird. It's weird. I think, so. I think it's weird. So that means what? As 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 kids, we can't hug. Yeah, we can't. Do you know what I mean? We can't physically. No, but it touch. must come from something. It must come from like misunderstandings. It must comes from, come from. Like, I get that. Know, yeah, but know, maybe like the school there's, there's has an underlying issue. Exactly. Yeah. So there's, there's a culture so issue. Deal with that issue. Deal with the do you issue. know what I mean? Don't yeah. ban. Because what are you actually teaching people then that you can't have physical contact? Yeah, and, that's and if you don't, and you, if you're learning that as a kid. What does that make you as an adult? Do you I'm, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't really... I'm already that. desensitised as a, as a world now with the internet and the lack of physical con- contact community. Mm. And then we're now going to introduce don't touch, don't hug. Creating robots. I bet this is a conspiracy. Oh. Creating robots. Okay. It's let's say, it's, let's say it spreads to all schools. Like exactly. You can see how then we're not touching each other then it's really easy to be like, everything's going to be online. Yeah. And then you just have people sitting in pods. Yep. Yeah interacting That's with deep. their avatars. That's yeah. deep. I like that. That. If you put it in <laughs> from avatars. school, though, you literally can socialise folks to do that. Is and then they're going to be, it's okay, because you're not allowed to hug anyway. So see, why do I need to meet people? Are we going to talk about, we're probably going to talk about Rishi e and the Tories, but let's see Rishi saying that, in banning, uh, no, enforcing maths as a staple, which you know I do what? agree with. I that, agree. I, I don't know what the problem is. I don't, I don't think there's a problem, it. but putting <laughs> it into this it. no touching robotic world, and then that mass thing is sad. You know what it is? We need to be like, able to compete like on a global issue, level. Issue, issue. On the level, yeah, in the world, you need maths to function. It's Honestly. True. You know, like on a basic level, I agree. You need maths to function. And I feel like, actually, in a way, I, I don't really feel like people should be forced to. Um, I just feel like there should be a base level of maths. There yeah. should be. Because I, actually it's, uh, you're doing people a disservice by sending them into the world without, without being able to handle maths. I think so. I think maths should be coupled with economics and life skills. I think that's the part that people have been, who have been reacting to it saying, apart from the, you were fucking up the world Tories, there needs to be a comprehensive world application along yeah. the maths Financial not just literacy. one plus one is two and that's it and you're forcing yeah. that kind of level of maths yeah, but it's going to be economic that. and financial literacy oh, the, the you four you know it actually is needed yeah. addition minus multiplication and yeah. division you need to know that yeah. and know it well yeah. but then you need financial literacy exactly. as well it needs to be applicable maths 
But at the moment now, you don't really learn what you need in life, exactly. when, even to GCSE level. So if you're going to extend it for two years, don't just teach algebra that you Algebra's actually Pythagoras, really need to be Pythagoras teaching more. Theory. Exactly. You need to be teaching us properly how you use math in everything. Plants. Mm. Everything in life revolves around math. Exactly. So if you know how it works, you will thrive. But do they really want us to thrive? That's the thing. Well, that's I, I think, I think, I think this will, will make it England better, to be honest. I yeah. think it will make them more competitive because at the end of the day, like, we all know, yeah, like, our cousins from back home, yeah. I was about to say. They're smarter than us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? When, they're yeah. when, home, when, 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 when I, when I came us, to man. England when I was 10. You, you came stupid, isn't it? Yeah, no. <laughs> no when I came to England, no, like, to England when I was 10, right, I remember... I didn't, this is a fact as well, start learning anything new in math exactly. till I was 13 or 14. I See? can imagine. Yeah, like, yeah. I was in math. They were like, oh, you're so good at maths. I'm like, this is Standard. basic. Yeah. Yeah. But You've not even it. seen me in my final yeah. form. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is light. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, like, they were shocked. They were like, how do you know long division? Did it? I'm, like, I'm looking at them like, I learned this when I was like eight. Yeah, they exactly. long it out. Exactly. They long yeah. out and, maths. And, That's what I yeah, do with my yeah. sons. They're doing long division and stuff now. And mm. it's like, they're not... They're ahead because I know you need maths. Yeah. yeah. So when you go into secondary school, just thrive so you go into the top set. Yeah. That's that's it. Because that in primary school, they're teaching them nothing. Yeah. yeah. You need you need you need the basics. You need maths, English, science. I think it should all be compulsory, all delivered well around Until financial 18. literacy. Yeah. And life I but I do agree. what I do agree with you on is that actually what I found, I remember like you know I only went primary school for like a year and a bit here. I found I was just not learning. I but that's what like I'm saying. Was, you became. I felt like yeah. it was play scheme. It is. Mm. Yeah. Like it was like it, it was. There was no. There was no. I just feel like they're wasting those years. I exactly. feel like they should. They could do more. Yes. More teaching of actual you know academic stuff to yeah, kids definitely. in primary that, school and as yeah. we know the private schools for the upper class and the middle yeah, classes they, they get taught properly so yeah. even if it's play that play is come, comes layered, with, yeah. a, with a layer and it comes mm. with intention whereas you know the usually average nursery nuts that is just we're just playing frame water each other and kids want to thrive at and that kids age yeah. Thrive. Yeah. they want really are hungry they to are learn sponges. and you yeah. can like feed I, I them think so like much when more. kids are yeah. young they're, they're like at primary school they're more like there's more passion exactly like, yeah. they're yeah, more yeah, open yeah. to learning yeah. whereas mm. like um in in secondary school there's so much other stuff social going stuff on. comes yeah. in girls and yeah. boys come along and that's where education needs to pivot to be life rather than just regimented you know what I mean classes so we're on Rishi um, what's how do you lot feel about his prime ministry so far? Is he about? <laughs> I'm, I'm not seeing it. Surface now. He did his New Year talk. I'm not his New Year speech. Well, apparently, he's, we've been cussed out for using to, for flying to where was it? Somewhere for, on a was it Leeds? Yeah, whatever. he went Leicester to Leeds. Or, yeah, Leicester or Leeds, yeah. and he went on a plane because yeah. they said that was the most effective way, quickest yeah. way for him to get there. You see him, yeah. <laughs> see <laughs> Rishi, man, like Rishi. People always going at him for being rich. It's not his fault. Like sometimes, that's not the some, problem. Sometimes people are no, rich. But that's, that's, but that's sometimes not the problem. People, like, you know, in life, <laughs> in life, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, as a, yeah. as a Nigerian man, like you know, like in life, you know, in Nigeria, we've got this thing like the God that did it for him will do it for me too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we'll never hate. Like yeah. you see, Nigerians don't hate on rich people. Yeah. Like, and so I find this culture in England, yeah, of it's people weird. not liking rich people. Like weird, even because though like, they, the rich people run. England. Listen, it's not his fault. Like that, like, he's rich. He married well. Yeah, he, he married he well, and now he's he's really rich. That's not what and, it is. And that's though. not a problem, and, and though. I just feel like no, but I just feel like all these politics now. Everything he says is always narrowed back to, oh, yeah. he's rich anyway, can't relate. Well, this is but what they're going to do in yeah. the press. Like, right? the maths, you know he's I mean? rich anyway. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like, no, no, yeah. like, no, no, no the maths thing was immigrants. But it was an immigrant story, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. As, Come as on, do your maths. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Basically. That was classically, we have an Asian prime minister, he's going to enforce maths. I think that's a perfect sentence. It's just excellent. I can't fault that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should absolutely do that. Do you know what I mean? Because he is so rich, yeah. he doesn't know what it's like to be poor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where, you know, the majority of the country actually is, yeah. you know, it's middle class to poor. Yeah. So if he's out of that loop, how can you effectively and care? That and that's but how that's, he's delivering but, those... But that is the same as... Or they're not as rich, but all of his predecessors before yeah. him are yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. So why should he really and truly be... billionaire. Ex- but that's... That's another you know level. I mean? but it's not like, millionaire yeah. this time. It's billionaire. <laughs> Billion. Like, it's, it's very bills. different. But on the top of... But, okay, so what... 
now. said you have private GP. He said, oh, I can't say. And a few days later, yeah. I might have used it in the past. <laughs> they went and got him registered quickly. Ridic- he should have shut that down. It was such a ridiculous well, question. How do you think he could reply? Um, yes, explain, I do. Explain, explain it. Oh, so basically, yeah, he was asked whether he go if he has a private um, GP, like private mm. doctor. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Next question. I love on. Africa. In Africa, they'd be like, "Of course he does." Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I, if, if he said, "Yeah," if this was Africa, and he said, oh, "I've got regular, regular GP," the, uh, the auntie, the uncle, would be like, "You are in that position." Yeah, like. yeah. <laughs> Why are you wasting time? But, 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 even taken away from the people but, that need it. But <laughs> could I, with this, oh, you know what? That's a point. Like that you, you that doesn't need it. Why yeah. are you taking away resources? But it's just like you be rich, but then unfortunately you're leading a party that has come into criticism for not understanding what it's like to be the average working. And I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. And this yeah. is where he is an easy target because you're even more disassociated and disconnected. So bringing it back to some of his policies that we are under, the whole st- ban- planning to ban striking and things like that. Yeah. That that is yeah. That's that beyond. Is, that's my issue. Do that's you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think that, that's that, more dangerous that type than of policy only happens when you have um, uh, uh, a leader that's not really had to engage in the lower rungs of the exactly. labour market. Mm. And, and, and so in a way, actually, you can't relate. So I yeah. get that. But at the same time, like for me, I just feel like I have no problems with this man being rich. I have no problems with this man having a private GP. If you can afford it. You see, my principle in life, as long as you can afford it and it doesn't mm. affect other people adversely... I don't do whatever you want to do. But like what I do have a problem with is like those policies that are like kind of, um, I don't know, massively disconnected mm-hmm. to real life people. Mm-hmm. And I just mm-hmm. feel like we never really have politicians that represent the true experience of real people, even though if they like appear to be or pivot to mm-hmm. like yeah. pivot yeah. as though they do. And like that's the main issue with this country is like you always, you have politicians that are literally drawn from the same pool of people. Yep. Yeah. Like Rishi is an exception. Imagine, like he's not even. He didn't go to like like None to Eton. Yeah. He went to another school. That but was wasn't he in Oxford or yeah. Cambridge? But like, yeah. like all the all, yeah. all, all, but all he the, was co like, like literally yeah. all the yeah. MPs like went to like literally almost like ninety yeah, percent of yeah, them yeah. went to Oxford and Cambridge. And like yeah. that's such a narrow pool of people. Exactly. Exactly. And so like in a way, that is the problem. That's the true problem. My thing is, politics. be rich, be whatever, and create a society that can be as rich as you. But they don't want that. That's the problem. If you want, no, you're yeah, talking about I've got a private yeah. GP. Here's policies that will and they'll allow you to get a private GP. But it's not, not even just that. the NHS. His why he's being criticised for it is the NHS because yeah. they're guttering the NHS yeah. and they want yeah. to privatise it. But not so giving that's us the why the question, it yeah. the question exactly. is there, do you even use the NHS? Because yeah. you're ready to sell it off and you're not even using it's it. It's because it's yeah. useless to you. That's yeah. why Exactly, it's because you don't care exactly. about it. But then also the VAT with private schools, mm-hmm. that they're not paying it. I and think, and I they think could be. The and whole he private yeah. schools being charity thing is disgusting. I cannot yeah. believe, I did not know that was a thing. they're all charity stories for those who don't know the story. Private schools, right, have charitable status right. in England. Imagine. And they've That's always mad. had charitable <laughs> yes, status. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In what world, yeah, yes, is a private school that rich people pay money for their a charity kids to go to? <laughs> yes. A chari- like, there's nothing charitable the exactly. the top, about the like, top normal five And how many, and what, even if they have like a, what is it, a little poor people status, like you have 10%, what is the percentage of like maybe three Literally, when I mean, the, yeah. co- the scholarships is 1%. Right. Is a sco- across all of them that offer scholarships. It's 1% of across people. Across all of them. Across all of them. <laughs> so then you have, um, I worked out, it was like 80,000 kids, go. they're in private education now. Their, ta- their VAT exemption is 1.7 billion. Imagine. And if you put that into state school, that would be everybody having free meals in secondary school as well. And, and you've and got schools of Labour put this forward and, and the Conservatives said no. And but that's the, the thing, that's when you're out of touch. But why, but I think it's, it's funny to me how everyone's so surprised that like, this is our world. This is what we've, we've, Not we've surprised, been, disgusted. Been, been living in. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I'm just disg- but we con- disgusted. We continue to support this system. As, do you know what I mean? As yeah. you always say, yeah. Yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, that is it. it. Like, why are we so surprised? They are going to make it work for them. So either you... But charitable status, yeah, though. No, it's it's true. It's it's Even if I, if, I was, if I was a private school, I'd be like, no, 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 no. Like, state school, take my money. Like, Exactly. Or like we donate some money to this state because yeah. I just feel like in a way it's it's 
That is tasteless. Yeah, yes, it's very it is. Tasteless. It's disgusting. <laughs> all right, all right. So I'm look, we, we mentioned it a little bit. You touched on Tory Lanes. How are we feeling <laughs> about Tory Lanes? So right now he's convicted. He's in jail for now. Has he, he hasn't been sentenced. He hasn't yet, been yet. sentenced. No. So yeah. his sentence date has been moved because he's signed up with new lawyers. Mm -hmm. He's about to appeal his case or contest okay. the ruling that he actually did shoot Megan the Stallion. And based on he all wasn't actually convicted for that. No. He's convicted for on basically recklessly firing a firearm. Oh, right. Having, um, a, having a firearm. Um, and what was the other one? Um, and I think it's endangering yeah, people. Yeah, something similar. But it's not, he, ha he hasn't been convicted for funny. like shooting her. That's <laughs> 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 So what happened? I you said, said in danger. In, he's charged with endangering feet, and they, I thought that was not inappropriate. I think that's facts. In my opinion, Tory Lane shot Megan Megan the Stallion in the foot. Yeah, okay, cool. he shot his gun, yeah. and it went into her, and one of the bullets went. Into <laughs> so you could argue that he didn't mean to shoot shoot her foot. Yeah, that's why they didn't get him on that. It's, yeah, it's quite a vague. If, it's he quite if he did argue that, maybe it would be different. But he didn't. He argued that the <laughs> other girl shot her. You, you know what? I didn't follow that story <laughs> properly because I just found it, <laughs> it farcical. It is yeah. um, um And I also felt like, in a way, it's just a weird. The whole thing's kind of That's weird. Like it's yeah, like yeah. these young people being mad, taking drugs, doing whatever, having guns they're not supposed to have. Mm -hmm. it just seems like a film. It seems like yeah, yeah. yeah. like you know. Have you seen that film Zola? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, I was just like, about to say it like, like Zola. Zola. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah, yeah, seems yeah. like one of these mad yeah, films yeah. that all like all like um spring break yeah. spring breakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just seems like it doesn't even seem real. Mm. But at the same time, I just feel like in a way, I'm I'm happy for Megan because in a way she. She was kind of like turned into a joke. Yes. She was, quite, yeah. she was derided. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I thought Tory Lanez dealt with it badly. Because if you know, if you, you might not have meant to shoot her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, you were there with a strap. Yes. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have been going on the internet doing the most doing the like you were doing. Why were you trolling her? I don't get. Do you, you know, know what I mean? Like, this is Cause madness. Because the first, the phone call that's now been released, even though it's. What was that? What? Everyone keeps talking about so this the phone, phone call. call is, Tell he, me about this so phone call. So you know, like, shit happened. Called, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he called, called Kelsey, Kelsey from, from prison jail. saying he's so sorry. Um, is Megan in the hospital? <laughs> like, just asking, like, but like, literally, profi like, apologizing. So, what are you apologizing for, bro? Short of saying it. Yeah, because everyone's like. It's a recorded, you know that the jail call's recorded, right? Mm. So this is even causing contention because we'd be like, yeah, you didn't admit. He's talking around the houses, but basically saying, shit, what's happened? Is it's Meg okay? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I was really drunk. So it's kind of like he was yeah. trying to say, cover his back by saying, by not saying. Even that phone call, people are saying, no, he wasn't apologizing for the shooting. So what he was, was he apologizing, apologizing for? for sleeping with them both. Oh, okay. That yeah. night. I just feel like it's just I just feel like you know like it's just it's just a, a sad Hollywood story. Yeah, yeah it? it is. And, it is and, that. And, and and actually, in a way, like he's a young man, he's talented to a certain extent. Oh. Uh, people like his music. I yeah. like his music, and like that career is dead now just because he had a gun he shouldn't have had. He was too drunk. He was trying to like sleep with two girls that were best friends. All, all, all girls. Like, it was, all, it was he just, had slept with the two of them and he and was also trying to go, to go for Kylie. Kylie. It's, it's just a mess. Uh, he, like, he was being messy and this yeah. is what happens, But he's it? obviously, a vi this is the thing, it's just like, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but he's 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 uh, got, he's got a history of violence. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Has he? Yeah. yeah. Tell because, me more. Because he also, um, was it, allegedly, tried to punch up um, August Alsace. He did punch him up. Yeah, while he was waiting for the trial. He did punch him up. So what was the August? Why did he punch him up? August did say hello to him. Yeah. yeah. So he got so he switched on him. Yeah. He was walking so past violent, and there's video right, evidence bro. of it, you're not the violent. fight, yeah. but August blanking him. <laughs> and and then August put out there, I went round the corner and Tori came back and punched me in my face. Yeah. And he has a picture and he's all bloody. Tori goes online again and says, I weren't even there. <laughs> there is video <laughs> of video you walking past so each other. Well. Well. And he's, he isn't and well. Seriously. <laughs> and also I think he's, he's got a very enabling father. Yeah, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? No, the dad was the dad was very funny outside the thing, Rock Nation. Um, but the thing is about all these people is like what you have to imagine this kid, he got famous young, started making money, his parents now depend on him for money, yeah, and so it breaks that father son, you can't really bad up your son thing. Your son is like a star in your eyes. More so than even normal parents, because this guy is taking you 
from your regular house. I don't care how big your house was. It might have been big, but it's taking you to a mm. bigger house. Yeah. Mm. And this you is financing your life in a way to live a life mm. yeah. that you never even imagined. And that creates this thing where yep. the son becomes the parent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so you can't really challenge your son. And so like, I just feel like it, 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 it's sad. It's sad to see. I'm... I, you know what? I'm happy that Meg Meg got a, a like she was vindicated, but mm. it's a, it's all very sad, yeah. yeah, and it's a very sad sort of like a Hollywood tale with this like this kid that in a way like could have had a career that lasted for like definitely decades. Yeah. As now, like, he's going to jail because he's on this mad stupid, and he list. may be in jail for decades. Yeah, yeah. Well, do the t- crime. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't feel sorry for any of them. Like it's no. just, it's just like that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. 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 Do you know yeah. what I mean? All right. If that's the way it goes, how about Mariah wants full custody of her kids? That's the way it goes. Why didn't she <laughs> have it in the first place? This is what I'm. You know what? <laughs> Why did she fair, have it? You see, it in England. Fair, you see, in England. Fair, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. That I was Mariah, surprised that it was a 50 I'm just 50. like, but I knew, especially when they done that diagram <laughs> and, they, <laughs> the, the, and they put the flow chart. They put, <laughs> they put her in the same line I've as other women. I've flow chart. I knew the flow chart there's lots of flow chart of him and the baby mothers and all the children. Yeah, do you know and what I mean? Mothers, and Mariah yeah. is on the same level. I know she wants to be above him. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, yeah. But she's got two. Some of them have three. There's yeah. two baby mothers that have three children, and then there's the single ones. But the thing is, he is showing from her. But she has a case because you could argue that this is reckless behavior mm. they can't potentially if he was to get i don't know like sicker or whatever kind of thing obviously we don't want that to happen is he, sick? he might not yeah well, he's he has lupus. Lupus. He lives, lives in lupus. Well, that's why he's just trying to give the world don't give him baby. this is what people are giving him an excuse but, but, about but i don't know the beginning but now everyone's no, like lupus mm. is hard to deal with no, yeah, yeah, like, it's hard I'm, to deal with i know someone that had it's lupus. hard to live with people die it's hard to live with but must you create children up on our back in infinity children because this you, got, you know thing. what? I'm not saying he should. I'm just saying uh, I'm getting. I'm trying to understand the rationale. Mm, why he's like, having like, loads. But, but at the same time, I just feel like, in a way, I don't understand why she's she's got so much paper. She doesn't have um, full custody. In the People first. were she saying might, that they were co-parenting. Yeah. Well, they both had custody and it was fine. I guess now this whole thing's coming in. She wants full custody. I was reading the comments and there were mostly, well, from my perspe- perception. Mostly men saying she's being um, vindictive. Why that's coming for the man? This is why men. Da, 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 da. So they're saying that she's being vindictive, asking for full custody. Do you know I've got real brethrens yeah, that are spending money to see their kids? Yeah. You, you three are women. I don't understand that. What if the man hasn't been abusive <laughs> to you? Yeah? Yeah. Why? Like, why are you not letting him see his youth? I've ne- you, you know, like I've we're never. Talking about Mariah here. No, no, no. I, no let's but shift talk, it. No, no, let's no. shift it. No, no, because, <laughs> no, because, 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 because yeah. you know what? I've got yeah. actual friends taking women to court. Peas they could give to their kids, you know. Yeah. To see their kids. Hold yeah, on. but you don't know Sammy, the whole every, situation out of it. No, no, and I'm not saying I do. You don't know, I'm but, not saying I do. also as well, it's just like abuse comes in many forms. Yeah. Just because it's not physical doesn't mean there's not abuse. Do you know what I mean? And also as well, like, I... I'm probably more on the more extreme end. I think things like consistency, do you know what I mean? Like having a good attitude should be the grounds for you to be able to see your kids. But I'm I'm extreme. Yeah. Some people are okay. Do you think men should should like like these men? Like I don't know. Like unless you have a real case, why are you taking your? Like I've got about three or four bridges. I don't think any woman. I have about three cousins going for exactly. And the same I don't thing. understand it. Go to no, court, but like, as think... a first resort, they go to it as a last resort. Oh, no, right? it's very different. Do you know what I mean? Well, in my, my case, I know it's a last resort. I really want to understand my, it. In my experience, like, I really want to get three it. cousins going through it. No, th- I'm just saying, no, I'm just, my I, experience. I just want a sample. Yeah, yeah. I want a sample. They are being <laughs> taken to court, not because of kids, not because of their consistency with them. It's because they left the relationship and they're being punished. In all three cases. That isn't to say that they were, I, they, I don't think they were great partners. So, you know, you've moved on. But there definitely is a culture of it's quite easy to be like you have to go to court and the man has to pay the lawyer and it's it's a waste of money. There's definitely a culture of that. I can't give women a pass on this. It's it's a thing. I, I've definitely I, had the, the, oh, oh, go on, the just, opposite experience where I know people who are going as a last resort because they're, they're coming out of an abusive relationship, the guy's a threat to the kids, they easy, work the system. Understandable. Or they're just, do you know what I mean? It's just not working and they're not having the cooperation where they, they're they able to parent the children in an co- uh, effective way. I understand. I think, do you know what, what, what we're seeing is different situations for different people. I don't think 
we can't say because there's so many different versions of why this is happening. I don't know about your three friends if it's they're all three innocent, really good dads, committed, did their I, thing. I can't speak but to that's it as what well. I'm saying. So you can't speak to that. So we can't speak to that. Nana can speak to her experience. Shade can speak to her experience. I know. I don't actually know anyone in my world that's taken anyone to court in that way. But I definitely know people of experience, fathers who have not done their job mm. and have just so, women who have soldiered through. And because of, again, like that Megan the Stalin and Tory Lanez thing where we don't want to get the black man in trouble or be seen as to be troublesome or make listen, noise. Get the black listen, man in trouble, but you know. But my point is, uh, there's a, we're in a country. No, so I'm not saying it's easy. Get listen, the black man in trouble. He's society, not doing right. Get him in we're trouble. We're in a society where, especially black women, we are then put in a position of you're a nag, you're this, you're, je- you're jealous, you're bitter. And it's just like, just see your child. Like, absolutely ridiculous. And there's lots of people who are, in, and lots of, and this is what we, we've talked about before, men held holding their brethren and relations accountable for mm-hmm. the behaviours that they're not doing well, for the way that they're not parenting their kids or not supporting the, the, mother, mm-hmm. the mother of their children. There's a lot of um, just, ah, oh, it is what it is and not holding men accountable. Oh, it's not my That's business. That's where if there were more men held their people accountable, maybe there would be less bitter women you know, doing things, or maybe there'll be less women not even going to court when they should go to court because they're so scared of the re- the backlash and the retaliation of being labelled as a, you know, a jealous, bitter baby mother. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's a Let's lot. leave it. But the point <laughs> is, <laughs> I, am, I, I sit there sometimes and I really think about it. I was like, that's really weird because like in the world, in a world where people are crying out for fathers to be in their children's life, why are my brethren having to We've take just given you the answer. people to court to see their children? We're just giving you the answer. There's no, very, there, there, I'm, there is no right or wrong answer. No, no, no. It's, no, it's, no, it's, it's complex. It's but, complex. The, but the thing is, if relationships it was, if it was are complex. Fa- if it was fairer and if if black men were even held themselves accountable, it's you not all even, black. It's not all black. I'm not saying yeah. that, but even we're talking about men. black men. That's what we're talking about. I don't know what. Do you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't even be answering that question. That's my point. Do you know what I mean? Because they'll be they will be holding themselves accountable. It's the fact that they just don't. Yeah, the majority of them don't. And they'll be like, oh, why is she taking me to court? Oh, maybe because you've done this, 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 and, and you're this, not doing and this, and this, over time. And you yeah. haven't, you're not taking, you, no one's holding we you to settle, account. Man. I, I, I'll even, give you the lawyer bag and like, just let me see. But you, I, but yeah. you know what? I actually have to, have to settle. I actually have to, have to do that. Yeah, have to be reasonable. reasonable to rese- do you know what I mean? And a lot of them, society does not eat, hold men in general account for these things they yeah. don't if there was a place like let's say another version of the citizens bureau exactly where you could go and you could get mediation, mediation. and it would be like what well, you know there's no kind of authority in it but you need to be cooperative yes and let's try and work it out i think that would be helpful me too i think that would be much better i, I, think just, so I, just, too. I just feel like also for the for the children exactly. in the long term it affects them and i just yeah. feel like you know, luckily for me, I've, like, I'm in my children's life, and like I've always been. I can't imagine a world where I'm not. But like you know, ultimately, I can see how, like you know, this creates a long term would have like long term ramifications for the children that yeah. you can't necessarily be able to see now. But it will probably like play out in the future more than like just like my dad's an idiot or mm-hmm. did it, like more than that psychologically. So I just feel like. If there was a swift way to do it in a collaborative way, that would be amazing. Yeah. Um, anyway. To was be a- fair, no, I was just going to say just quickly, a lot of these guys, yeah, they're only pissed because they're people are trying to hold them to account, yeah? Yes. Because before, back That's in the day, they're just disappearing. They're just disappearing and go and make another family and no one's up in Do you know what I mean? Like, you know? No, and that's just the way it was. I'm now, because you're trying, now you're crying. <laughs> there's a, there's an crying. outpouring of entitlement everywhere. Um, there's also this little thing about passport being blocked for people who don't play child support. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about that? I think that's good, man. I think, I think it's a brilliant idea. I can't idea. lie. I, I think, think it's genius. Like, I think that's, that's good. What, I feel like, I thought, I feel like, I feel like they should also just take your money out of your wages. From the well, if you have loans. wages, this is the thing. There are a lot of people that go off the grid and they do that yeah. to hide, hide the mothers. Yeah. yeah. So they'll they'll have other, you know, cash means. They'll do other little yeah. side jobs and they, you can't get their wages. It's you not an excuse, but there's a reason why there are a bit, there's a lot of bit of women like, fuck it, I'm just going to do whatever. But, but I have a bitter not, though. That's not, not, I don't no, like no, that, that, that phrase. Yeah, fair enough. I get because they were acting normal to an abnormal situation. No, I'm talking about to those who are And the guys who are, you know, the same too. It's just a, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Really. Like, they're actually trying to, it's not anyone's best case scenario, trying to, 
live separate lives. It's like you're living three lives. Mm. Yeah. Right? So like you have to look after you have to look after your relationship, that like your probably your new relationship. You have to maintain a relationship with your partner, like your ex partner. Yeah. And then you have to maintain a relationship with your child. Yeah. And so it's like you're it's such a hard thing to do, maintaining a relationship like how I am now, which is just like me, my partner, my kids, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's that's own, hard already. Yeah. Like that's hard already. Let alone like work. actually, you're maintaining like you've got all of. It's just not anyone's best case scenario. Yeah, and I just feel like in a way, some men just don't know how to do it because men so. are not organized. And so like men, men, men are, like forget like even like let's let's not even talk about the irresponsible men. Responsible men mm. like will just be that's just mad chaotic and men so. only men yeah. also only see i'll tell you this because i'm a man i can speak to this men only see like what's in front of them yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds mad it's not even a good excuse but like men <laughs> literally sometimes you see like this balancing act that women are wired to do where they could do like 10 million most men can't even function at that level so i'm not trying to excuse it I'm just trying to say it's not anyone's best case scenario. Uh, is, that why, case is, scenario. is that why they look towards leaders like Andrew Trey? <laughs> you know that I, well, I, I don't just know. I'm just trying to figure out what's a segue because <laughs> Andrew Tate has been arrested now, and he's possibly not going to be released. Lots of men are very angry with the situation. I don't know what men follow him, I, and I don't know what, and I, I I don't really know much about him. Mm. I, I've, there was a girl that interviewed him on on on. One of these light skinned girls that does these shows on Oh Cheyenne. Yeah. She yeah. interviewed him and I saw little clips on Instagram mm. and like um he's very abrupt, very direct, thinks he's right about everything. That's mm. the only bit I've seen. I've not really seen any anything else with him. And what I would say is that actually the reason a lot of young men are following him, I was talking about this the other day, and someone said to me, The thing is, like, I've got two boys, right? Mm. And there comes an age and I'm seeing it with my boys now, where boys start feeling hard done by it all yeah. the time yeah. for no reason. Yeah, They'll be like, oh, the teachers, they kept on, this is like my my actual boys will say yeah. stuff like, oh, the teachers like kept on, all the boys behind today, but the girls will be naughty as well. Yep. Mm-hmm. The, 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 boys, the, boys, the boys got in trouble for doing this, for playing football, but the girls were wearing makeup when they're not supposed to wear makeup in school, but no one said anything to them. And there's this idea that this stereotype that little boys are naughty mm-hmm. like, and little girls are not or yeah. like little mm. girls are mm. whatever else, right? And yeah. so then little boys, weirdly, and I'm not saying like, you know, my boys follow Andrew Tate. I'm just saying like <laughs> little boys <laughs> then no, create not. this idea in their head that actually authority hate boys. Everyone hates boys. Yeah. And, and, and so then some boys grow out of this, right? But some boys don't. And those, I think, those are the boys that follow Andrew Tate. Yeah. The ones that feel like the world hates them because they're men. Like, men have it so hard. I don't agree. I don't, like, men have it so hard. But I feel like it comes from this idea that they just feel, like, victimised because they're boys. From school. That's a very interesting We spoke about this before. I, mean, I was yeah, saying, I've so, I saw that exactly the same with my boys. And when they come home, same thing. It's always, this has been done to me. This is this girl got away with. It's always this girl got away with ah. this. There's a schism that takes place in primary school. I think it's year and five, it, year six. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. I think it's not. And it it's never on. happened. So up until this year, Definitely. my boys have my boys have never said stuff like that. But like, oh yeah, there's that naughty girl. Oh, we don't like that girl. Do and that, that and kind it's of only like about her being a girl. girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's something about the teachers not really stepping in properly because the boy will get told off a bit more, especially if the girl does something and the boy does something back, the boy's going to get in trouble. Also, from my experience of raising two boys, right, majority of primary school teachers are women. women. Yeah, Mm. I was just about to say, because there's that dynamic, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And so that layers it as well, because then the boys get into their head that, oh, my teacher doesn't like me. Doesn't like me because I'm a boy, because actually she favours all the girls. Mm. And even though the girls talking in class as much as I am, she never yeah. gets in trouble. Like like one one of my boys actually said, Oh yeah, this this teacher likes this girl. She's like decided that this girl's a teacher's pet because her dad like is handsome. Is involved in some show uh, that the teacher likes. Wow. Do you know what and, and, and it's always the girls. And yeah. I just feel like actually some boys don't grow up 
And and that's a fact. Some yeah. men just do not grow up. Like they just like do you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. When I was for a long time, in my head I was nineteen. For a long time. In my head. I wasn't nineteen, I was in my twenties <laughs> because I decided that's my favorite age. <laughs> And so, in my head, I was that 19 year old. And I just feel like some men, like when I'm around rappers sometimes, I'm friends with a lot of rappers. When I'm around them, I just feel like they just decided they were going to stay 19 They're forever. Gonna, yeah. That, they that, were that, their head, <laughs> though. So that mindset. <laughs> and I just feel like some men, some men just don't grow up. And they're just like, this is where I am. And actually, when I was this age, my teacher made me feel like this and made the girls feel like this. And I'm not going to like them. And I just feel like Andrew Tate. Is feeding into this very that very particular uh, to be fair, type the guys of man. That react to, uh, to Andrew Tate. The young people I've spoken to are like, yeah, Andrew Tate. It is that thing that looking at women as such tricky, trickery yep. women, manipulative, de- manipulative devices that are just out to get them. So that what they need to do, especially because the turn of feminism is occurring and women are more vocal about their oppression and not having it. Men are just like, you are attacking me, and if it's that. Because everything you're saying, I apply that. Because I don't, I not, I've not seen this perspective mm. vocalized. In, in, I haven't, but I've seen it vocalized when it comes to black children or black mm. boys. So I've definitely what you're saying applies to me for black boys. Seeing that white woman, fem- woman teacher that comes at them for their energy and not understand that they're black boys that need a different attention or different focus when they get to that point. But applying it to boys in general, I think it's boys but in I general. Think, but, I think, but there is the other side of that as well. That that girls are so, like traditionally excluded be. from things and boys are allowed to be they mm-hmm. can they can they can be boisterous they can be loud they can be do you know what i mean where girls are socialized in the classroom to be quiet mm-hmm. they can be studious do you mm-hmm. know what i mean mm-hmm. and be smart and do that but they can't be anything else right that that's it so there is the other side and i think it's you know like it's a very male perspective looking at it from the male point of view do you know what i mean like okay. it's just like Go so on. even taking that mm. and most of the teachers are women who would have been had that socialization and you want to change it around because you're like I don't want that to be repeated that's mm. there's a do. letting mm. girls be more in a class than before and there's still a boy you need to exactly. stay back but the, but you, you can't until it gets to a place of balance and this is where I think it's interesting in like the whole gender roles anyway do you Mm. know what i mean and that whole kind of like boys versus girls narrative there are benefits for just squashing it do you know what i mean like you know that's 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 basically what it is but i don't think that these teachers are um trained enough i don't think that's exactly it i think they're not paid enough they're not paid enough they're not trained enough that's what i was gonna say perpetuate nonsense all that kind of stuff so i just don't yeah i think me as as a teacher i would be protective of the black children it'll be instinctive to make sure that the black children are getting treated in a, in a way that i might neglect that i might end up being teased that neglects the other children white children specifically because i'm like you're going to be okay so i might be hone in on making sure that the black children in my care are have that little extra bit of freedom so it's, it is about as you're saying extra training more funding and, and maybe having a real gender balance in the classroom I mean, it's an idealistic thing that children are taught by both an equal number of male and female or they do have drives to try and get I, more I male just don't think in. men want to do it I just feel like literally at every primary school that I've been to like my kids have been to a few like because we've moved a bit like and they've, they've been to a few primary schools there's like one male teacher or none at all but that's because and that the head teacher might be what, yeah, a man but literally this, 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 is, the, this is what we have the head teacher is, is a man is the head teacher is actually not. more likely to be a man yeah, yeah, than exactly, a woman yeah. I don't know where they float from <laughs> no, I feel like, yeah, I, feel like I feel like actually I mean, again, that's probably a gender yeah, yeah, that's probably yeah. a gender thing as well because yeah, actually the only man that comes he's like oh I'll be a primary school teacher he's just then propelled or the PE teacher that's it that's literally in the boys school that's the two because the head teacher and the P teacher. It's that, and it's removing the gender yeah. rules to aligned, associated with whatever job you can go it's for. It's money, yeah. though. That's what yeah. Yeah. It's why there are certain professions that women exactly. go into. It's money and the time. So women are going to be teachers because then you have the holidays, you spend with your kids, your pay isn't that great. Men generally are going to go for jobs where you're paying more. Yeah. That's yeah. why. I was just going to say, just to circle back to Andrew Tate, um, what's in, what I find interesting is like now these 
voice notes have come out mm. like where people sat and this is my my like, my issue sorry what is the voice note so the voice yeah. notes are of um him basically responding to girls that have um accused him of you know trigger being warning. violent yeah rape and 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 he's talking about you know you liked it um I just strangled you a little bit. Uh, you're no fun, or something to that effect. It's crazy. That kind of thing. And even if he's playing, it's just too. It's it, it's, it, it's too much. He do you know what I mean? On himself. He did. He did. To, and but, but he's like been. Tory but these are these are old, right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I still have this issue. And I know people like you know freedom of speech and everything like that, where we have these characters who have so much grime and. Um, nastiness around them and they are given a platform and they're brought into arguments like their points are valid yeah. and it needs to stop because after time it always comes out there's something wrong with this person do you yeah. know what I mean so there needs to be a nipping on in the butt earlier for, for these kind of characters obviously he's very extreme mm. do you know what i mean but i think it was from the get-go he was being brought into arguments like he had valid points like misogyny is not a thing do you yeah, know what i mean yeah so if he goes down i'm going to be very happy 100%. i i have i have a theory on andrew tate um I, so you see how he goes railing against the matrix mm. i actually think <sighs> they propelled him because he feeds into consumerism and mm. he gives a whole new generation a new start on just buying and spending and so he's a he's yeah. a necessary evil. So he gets propelled, he gets to have millions, he gets to influence loads of young men because you want that to carry on. So really, he's saying he's going against the Matrix, but, but he was being enforced by the Matrix mm. as well. And just, it's just all a game. The irony that the Matrix, if you believe it, was created by the Wachowski, the Wachowski twins. They are trans no. women now. No, no, it was no, a it's woman. By a woman. Yeah, it was a black woman. No, I'm saying if you believe them. that the yeah, Matrix, I'm just going. She won that case. I'm just well. So she. she no, yeah, she a, did. No, she did. She, she won did. the case. I follow her. She yeah. won. She got money. Yeah. She did get money. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think. When we, anyway, okay, whatever. Well, the so tell me the story. Are, she created this film. They're she came jacked, up the story and they jacked it. Yes. And the Wachowski brothers. They jacked it. Yes. Sisters. She sent it off to various different companies she win? i missed that and yeah. um I thought that was within a, that they managed to get the so it was split between the what? three it's the terminator they like all of her bits her manuscripts that they yeah. sent. everyone just jacked they just elements. split it up yeah so what would that have been is that paramount she sent it to one of them but she did copyright it as well so she sent it back to herself you know the old school where you post yeah. it the letter mm -hmm. so they just split up her series and called it the matrix and um terminator mm -hmm. and there was something else but it's all in a kind of trilogy thing so this she said black it woman Sophia Stewart. came That's up it. with like f the ideas for she, like three massive hollywood blockbusters. well now films. it's been i think it's five films in so they, total that they, they did from her black woman's ideas yeah and made, so this is a whole world <laughs> view that she said god gave her Mm -hmm. she and so you know, see in the matrix they have the oracle she's yeah. like I, that was me i am the oracle i was given these this is our world view and they just took it from her God, hey, what was her name again sophia stewart um black people say get a rob didn't it being contested do you know her. what i've watched you know her on what? interviews no, so no, I literally I've say yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I got yeah, paid should i tell yeah. you what it is this goes back to we should all get our bag like Rishi, because if we had our own bag, she obviously would have to send it to them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, absolutely. Oh, well, I was going to say that they, were, you know, regardless, even even more so. Andrew Tate, you're you're perpetu perpetuating this matrix life created by women, and yeah. the Wachowski brothers are now women, trans women, are trans yeah. women now. Women, so yeah. whatever the case is, the, and their narrative, they both that, women. Their narrative, yeah. the both yeah. twins mm -hmm. are now women. Mm -hmm. um, their narrative is actually it's a trans story and how Neo represents a transformation. From the, and it's a trans story. So the fact that Andrew Tate is perpetuating this and it's a ma mas masculine alpha male narrative that he's driving using the Matrix is a, is a contradiction in itself. Because all the alpha guys are that I'm an alpha male. Do you know where the story comes from and that you're saying you're red, taking the red pill and you're part of the Matrix or rebelling against the Matrix? It's a lot. People don't. What, what do you want to say? Life, I, I, I get you. I get you. Just yeah. live life, man. Anyway, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> What have you heard? We've heard a lot and we discussed a lot. Um, we want to get into Auntie's No Best. Oh, yes, I missed this. <clears throat> if you'd like oh, to wow. chip in. No, no, I don't, I'm not Auntie. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll just watch. I'll watch. <laughs> you don't have to. Auntie's no best. Auntie's no best. Auntie's no best. Auntie's no best. No best. Auntie's no best. Auntie's no best. Auntie's no best. Quite funny. It sounds very okay. gone in. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, no, there was something about it that gave me Ghana. It gave me Ghana. <laughs> it gave me Ghana still. I'm not even lying. I'm kind of offended. No, no, I, 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 I'm not saying wrong. Why, why are you offended? No, 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 I'm not offended. I am lying. Because when I when I was saying there was a tone, there was a little element of it. Because we're going here. What's the problem? Put my finger in it. Thank you. Thank you. But. If, and and there's nothing wrong with it. No, no. Listen, Ghana is the most poppinous country yeah, in the no, world yeah. right now. Super so proud of Ghana. Yeah. Can't even lie. Like yeah. you're lit. Cultural this powerhouse. Is, yeah. Still great. sounds like shade. Listen, have you seen Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Please, please. All right, auntie's no best. This is where we get into, you know, we start to solve or help solve problems of the day or what's going on in society. Mm-hmm. And the one I wanted to first pick up on was um, Femi. Mm-hmm. You've got a problem out here. What's you haven't got a problem, problem out here. Um, <laughs> but, no, auntie, we had a conversation about um, men and women having best friends of the opposite sex. Mm. And Auntie Nana was very vehement to say that it doesn't work, it's not appropriate if you are married and yeah, your I best like friend is, like and you wrote mm-hmm. preach underneath no. the commentary. So I wanted to explore that. Yeah. Because we also had some people come back we and had, say, yeah, in my, um, while going for this my inbox is, there was more people asking questions like, okay, I kind of agree with you, but not really. And one of them was, I want everybody to discuss, what if the best friend was around before the wife or husband or boyfriend or girlfriend. Is it okay that they're still the best friend well, because they've been there longer? I think you need to respect longer? the space, man. I think you need to respect the space. I feel like actually you can have... I've got lots of female friends. Yeah. But they're not my best friend. Like, And, and they're not like... They're not going to be in my business mm-hmm. more so than my partner or my mum or my sister or any of these people. Like for me, I have a close group of people of women in a way like there's like literally those three people that know everything about me or I'll consult with or like I'll go to for information and I've got female friends that I'm super close with that they'll come to my house like lots of them but they're not in that thing you know and I just feel like in a way for me as as someone if you're in a relationship you need to um respect I feel like part of that relationship is like everyone knows everything about you. It's just like that person mm. knows yeah. everything that's going on in your life. And like, you know, there's no other person. That's like, there's no third will. That's, and that's, like, that's it's just I irrational think. to be in a relationship that you're not going to be fully all in with your mind and your soul and everything. You might as well just not be in a relationship. Yeah. It's not that deep. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Totally agree. Like, well, I think marriage is sacred mm. like do you know what i mean why would you want anything to to push that in any sort of way i just think like and, and also as well i just this need <laughs> this need to be friends with everybody as well kind of thing i'm not interested in that either like i think you know that person who is the best friend should it is even upon them to give you you space do you yeah. know what I mean? To allow your relationship to grow and flourish in the way that it's supposed to. Do you know what I mean? Like, why why do they have to be involved? Like, you know, it's not... They, they, they have to understand that their role in your life is different now. This is it. I think there's an element... It seems... It, what I'm listening to, it sounds extreme. And I'm, I'm thinking that best friend... I think as you get older, best friend evolves with your age and your situation as well. So your best friend isn't like when you're in your teens or in prime school and I we're together all the time every day we do everything together all that type of stuff as best friend mm. as we get older best friend shifts even as uh, someone who's not in a relationship right now my best friend as a grown woman has shifted so I don't necessarily depend on my best friend the way I did as my teen becoming a mother my best friend relationship shifted because I had another commitment so that I understand the shift in commitment to the relationship but it doesn't mean it, there's something about then it's like you don't have that best friend, but you still have a person. And if it is opposite sex, someone that 
is in your friendship circle that you prefer over everybody else. So if then not that. It, no, no, but I understand what you're saying, like that consultation where sharing every part of your life. I think I understand that, that it should be the person in your relationship. But there's still some, because I think it's exploring what does best friend mean then? Because as you get older, I don't think best friend necessarily needs to be the same thing. Do you have a best friend? I have, no, I don't. Yes. You know, I don't, I don't think so. This I best friend, know, I'm I've sure never had a best friend. I've just yeah. always had a network of friends. Yeah. It's like, you're all yeah. my friends. Yeah. You know, like I was saying, that's my best friend. It's like, it just. But I think best friend is like, the, it's the person you trust the most outside and if you're in a relationship then it's a person you trust the most outside of that so it doesn't mean to say that everything is contradictory goes on- to that it, it doesn't mean to say it's going to be contradict like it's going to be someone that's a replacement to your relationship. yeah it's more like yeah. the person that you trust the most outside of your relationship that's not going to cross that boundary between you and your partner but it's that person that's out because i think you need an outlet sometimes because I, I would say that yeah. yeah I think you need an outlet and you need and if it's one person two person you need someone potentially I don't whether, need I, that's a, um do you get no what I mean? that, that's what I disagree on so I get you need an outlet yes but if things well, that, that are going on in your relationship or in your life and the first person you think to call is this best friend that to me gives me the heebie-jeebies I just no, don't. I, I, I just don't think it's opposite sex. Yeah. Okay. We're specifically of talking yes. of the yeah. opposite sex. Because my advice is different. Like, you know I get I mean? that. But I'm saying if, if, and this is for me, I witnessed it, thing, but I'm yeah. saying in my relationship, if something is going no, on I, or I you need it. advice and you consult another woman, that to me is, that that's just rude. Yeah. What are you going to say? Would it be the same if you had a good relationship with the other woman, the best friend? But, um, we, there wouldn't be any friendships that I wasn't friends with her no, as well. I, I, yeah. like, I, just, I, I, I think, think really it's encroaching. I, I, feel, I feel like you, I can't, you can't... Basically, actually, what I'm hearing also, what is going what is going on is that I genuinely don't believe you should consult with someone of the opposite sex about your partner. Yes. Mm. Like, I remember being in at law school mm-hmm. and there was this girl, she blatantly liked me. Mm-hmm. Um, law school. Blatantly. Blatantly was like... <laughs> I was a little bit on her too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it to her. I'll give it to her. And then one day we were sat there, me, one of my good friends <laughs> at, at law school, and her was sat there in the law school library on the computers. And she starts bad mouthing her boyfriend. And I was looking at her like, that's mad. That's not yes. Right. Mm. Because you blatantly obviously like me. And then you, you know what in this situation mm. that. Where actually, what are you giving me permission to move Open to you? Are you yeah. like, what think are you doing? I think and, and, and in that moment, I realized actually, this is never cool. Like for mm. you to actually yeah, talk yeah. bad That's about exactly your partner yeah. to someone of the opposite sex, it yeah. just doesn't make sense. It's just yeah. never cool. But I think we're, I think then we're going we're to re- the extremes. No, 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 but I think, but it's, I think it's basing just, it on it's just, not just that sexual, element of though. it. It's not, yeah, sec- that's what it's I'm not just sexual, though. It's not just sexual. It's emotional as well. Yeah, and I don't that. agree with that. Do you mm. know it's, what I mean? It's like, having a crutch in to, someone else. Got a, yeah, exactly. Okay. Kind of thing. And it's just like, then you, what you're doing is you're, if you've got an issue with your partner that you can't have those conversations, you're not fixing that issue. Yeah. You're just taking it to the other person. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking in that scenario, you are talking to your partner. I'm thinking, I'm just exploring because I think there's, I'm still stuck. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. And I think if I had, I, like, who are you talking to? I think there's an element, whatever is uh, the situation, whatever the issue, whether it's emotional, later, like, always like, I want to get a dog or I don't want to get a dog. That kind of conversation, have that with your partner. But you ultimately could have a best friend. So my point is that if that of best the friend... Of the opposite sex. Of the, but my point is, if, you're, oh, if that oh, best yeah. friend is not the person that you consult when in times in that respect, but you have a friend... And it's the person you prefer over everybody when it comes to your friendship group. That person happens to be the opposite sex. I'm not saying I'd be comfortable with it, but it's just also like, if you're having those conversations and your relationship is on point, you are coming to your partner for all those things, but the person you kiki with and you you get on with guess, is of the opposite sex. Well, you what have, does that you mean? have friends. It's just friends. Yeah. You just, you're don't, not, you're not, just you're not okay, so what you're saying is that best. don't call it your best friend. No. Just say, that's my friend. No, yeah. that's, that's our friend. Yes. That's our friend. That's literally 
yeah. as long as it's our friend. Yeah, yeah. and okay. then they and then it's they, all right they, if it's our friend. They, they move come into to a family. Yeah. They move into yeah. family yeah. space. They okay. occupy yeah. their friend. Yeah. But yeah. Friend. you can't just have your own. No, you can't have your own separate friend. No, no. Because, like, <laughs> I've got friends that we Facetime. We all Facetime. Yeah. We'll all be on yeah. a board. Yeah. Too. And it's just your opposite sex. And it's a girl. I'm all yeah. on Facetime to her. Okay, cool. Especially in today's world where there's so much opportunity. There's so much. There's so much distraction. You know what I mean? You have to keep your relationship sacred. And that's not to be isolated or anything like that, but it's just like, just the respect yeah, needs to be that. there. And that needs to come from you because you set the standard of how other people are going to behave. I think and also, it that. just, that person just needs to be our best friend. Yes. Mm. If there is a, such yeah, it's a, our best friend. They belong to us. you don't really like yeah. them properly. And that's then the other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And if your partner doesn't yeah, like, them, like them, then, you, then you that's you not your friend no more. That's not your, if I say to you, you know, you see that your bridges. I don't feel them, you know, you better not chat to them again. Is that and okay? that works both ways. Is that okay to do that? I, I think it works both I think, ways. I think, I think you've got to work it, it out. Because I, I think naturally, instinctively, humans kind of figure out, because I know that I, ha- I had lots of close guy friends. When they get their person or when I get a person, it just naturally shifts anyway. So I think there's a natural evolution of like, this is what it is. So everyone should generally respect the boundaries. And if anyone's calling after hours and they're not respected, you know that person's waste. I was just exploring that level of, okay, outside of that, that person that you find that you get on with really well, but you've explained Another it. question that came mm-hmm. through was, can we discuss an ex? Can an ex be involved get as a friend? Here, get out of here, man. <laughs> you know what, yeah, I've been through this year. Oh, it's not a good idea. It's just not a good idea. Like, I have an ex who's, like, we get on, like, a house on fire. It's long. And I've literally, like, my last relationship, I literally had to lock it off. Yeah, it's long. I literally, other things happened as well. But just because there was always, like, an insecurity, like, do you know what I mean? There was always yeah. something. But even if you I, know, I am never going with that. Yeah, but it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's never going to be I enough, know. I don't think. Well, in that situation, it was never going to be enough. And, like, it... That you could argue, you you anyone could have argued that what are we playing at? Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like, oh, maybe we're just. And it's just yeah. too much, and it's too much. It's like that thing where guys always think that I can always get you. Yeah. And especially, I think for men, especially like, guys, really think that we can yeah, always get. I'm, I'm gonna let you know now, guys. Yeah. Too, it's Honestly, not, guys, if you're like, oh, he's my they best friend, he choice. doesn't think that. Guys, legit, really <laughs> chat with their brothers in group chats and yeah. say. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> if I tried a little yeah, bit she'll just come. I don't it's know. So annoying. No, guys, I, I la- that's one thing. I can't stand it. It's so and I think women it's so annoying that you men think I can just get you regardless. So that is the problem. That's the but a, a long time ex though, like twenty years we were together. Yeah. They yeah. think that and with a girl But the I'm, thing is it's like because you're gonna women. have such a rapport. Yeah. Do you and know you don't what I mean? want that in your face. And you know what? Like I can't lie, I do grieve that relationship sometimes because I'm just like, oh mate, we had yeah. banter. Yeah. But it's just it And as a happen. woman, it we're just feel like, no, you you want her. You literally want her. Yeah. Oh, wow. And even I think for our version but it's like you want that as well, I think regardless. I think it's all right, next one. So this is um I'm gonna try and sum it. This sum summarises. This woman left her man to go on holiday because he forgot his passport. Basically, how Sorry? it- well, Say yeah. that again? <laughs> okay, so this woman, she's been with her boyfriend for like six, three years, living together for six months. Yeah. He has a problem with forgetting important documents. <laughs> and after the, fir- after the fourth time he did this, I became responsible for carrying the documents in my purse. Okay. According yeah. to him, all documents have a digital version and that's enough. Not all are digital, by the way, like say a passport. Yes. And not all places accept the digital form. But he's stubborn and maintains his position. I don't mind being responsible for the documents. Most of the time I have them in my purse. This is until one day, two months ago, when he called me asking about his identity because he needed it for something and they didn't accept the digital version. Haha. Uh-huh. I was at work and informed him that I had it with me. He gave me a huge scolding saying those documents should be at home and told me to stop holding his documents. I handed his documents over to him and said I would no longer be responsible for this or warn him about it because I was doing a favour to someone I love who is capable, he's 27. Right. Which brings us to the situation at hand. <laughs> we decided to travel with our friends to another country on New Year's and a passport is needed. Since it's on another continent, we went to our country's capital city where we'd stay at a friend's house until our flight time. Since the city we live in is two hours from the airport, that's right. we decided to go to the airport, talk for, um, to the airport four hours before our flight, blah, 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 blah. I went to check all my documents first. My boyfriend was next to me, and when he saw only one passport, he was like, where's my passport? She said, I have, you have it. He panicked saying he thought I had taken his passport as usual and left it at home. 
He decided to run home and come back. He asked me to go with him, but I didn't want to spend four hours in no. the car. Yeah. He went to get his passport, but complained that this was something to remember that he was supposed to remind, she was supposed to remind him. And I went with my friends to the airport. In short, he didn't arrive on time, and I decided I wouldn't miss my trip because of him. I turned off my cell phone and made the 12-hour trip. When I arrived, there were several messages from him saying he couldn't believe that I'd gone on a trip without him, and what I had done was a form of revenge because of his scolding. The flights were all booked up or too expensive, so he probably won't come. He's still accusing me of leaving me leaving him behind purposely. Um, yeah. My friends are on my side, but I feel doubtful. And I think she said she also did a checklist for him. She did do away, like she gave me a little reminder. It's too much. So was she wrong? She was, but it doesn't matter. She was because, wrong? No, because you know what? At the end of the day, she, she probably should have had his passport. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. She probably should have checked with him at home. Why? Because she knows this man. man her. She knows this man. <laughs> Yeah, it's useless. No. You know why she gave you the backstory? Because she was painting the picture of this man. <laughs> he used this with physical paper. <laughs> yeah. And she knows this man. But you know what? She was well within her rights to do what she felt like. And also, did she leave him on purpose? Because she got a scolding? Yes, yeah, she, she did. did. That Absolutely was true. Did. And like, she did. Yeah. You know, like, we've all been in relationships. Sometimes you want to... You, you know, like, it's... You know what breaks relationships? <laughs> like, people are like, oh, the relationship didn't work out. What happened? It's them little things, you know? Yeah, mm. is. You know, that it's little things that your partner does mm. that gets you. You're like, oh, do you know what? How's your relationship? It's really nice. But in your head, you're thinking, yeah, but I don't like the way they leave their pants on the floor. Yeah, you, know? Yeah, 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 you don't, yeah. you know, it's those little, it little is. things. It's lots she of little things it. building. She made, she did that to make a point to him yeah. and to prove that he was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I serve her right for doing it, but they were both wrong, isn't it? Like, yeah. they were both wrong. I get it. She well, could have helped. But she chose not she to. Absolutely chose not mm. to. And for him to be like, I, 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 learn yeah. your lesson. Learn your lesson. But also, there's a bit of, you really need me though. Yeah. And I can leave you, but you really need me. You can't even travel without me. Because it's arrogant on telling me off. Telling me off. Like, like, like yeah, it's my story. I think it's I'm yeah, it's pay. It's pay. It's it, actually it pay. I like it. Though. I, like those, yeah. I like those ones. I'm not. I'm not against it, but it's pay. Yeah. <laughs> like, but it's not because it's it, to me. And I just, also, I why am I missing my holiday because of you? That's, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yes. And I'm replacing him with my child because I'm thinking about my daughter did this. It's exactly the lesson you need to learn. And is the fact Wait, that your daughter. I'm saying replacing no, the if man. It was boyfriend. Her daughter, yeah, no, daughter. I know, but you would do that. Really? I might not, but I'm oh, also like when okay. you want to teach a child, and it's a, that the whole thing, thing teach a child a lesson for being ridiculous. I don't think they learn a lesson though. Do you know what I mean? They just get mad. They, yeah. they, because the lesson that they would lead, need to learn is that I need my documents. Yeah. What they do is just project onto you and say, yeah. you made me, <laughs> like, you done this There to was me, no accountability. Is like, is but this is the problem. problem. Accountability. Yeah. yeah. It, you know it, what? I, I serve a right for leaving, but also she was being petty. No one can't pretend she yeah. wasn't being petty. Yeah, no, she yeah, was, she was. was. Absolutely, yes. To be fair, even as much as I love pettiness, I don't actually know if I would do that because it's I a can't trip. Say I, would do I it. think I think I would probably be like, but I've got my passport. Where's yours? Mm. Yeah, Before I'll do one of those. And then it was so in my like, bag, though. Yeah. But your heart needs to have Jump. that. You should have checked. No, no, no. I wouldn't put it in my bag. I would just show you. I've got You know what's mine. deep? She I'm knew. You, she I've knew from home yeah. didn't she have his passport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she like, probably like, saw like, it in the drawer. It's probably on the table. You know that time you were shouting at her? In her head, she was thinking, oh, cool, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know sometimes you're shouting at your partner and they have to hold that. They have to hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in their head, they're thinking, I've seen it so many times. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah. like uh, people have been in the wrong and yep. i've made i've labored the point <laughs> that they're in the wrong but i could see in their eyes what, thinking wait i can't wait till i get I you get back yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when come. they get you back is it hurts it's pepper. <laughs> it's pepper. and that's one of them that's what she was doing yeah. she gave him pepper she knew the she knew the passport knew, was so home. what's the resolution when yeah. when they both get back home what should happen should they break up should she break up with him should he nah, break up with her it's not that deep nah, nah. it's not, not breaking up what, does he want her to waste money on a flight as well i think i think just laugh about it you won't do that again. <laughs> you he ain't gonna laugh. He ain't gonna laugh. There's no laughing. I would be vexed if I was the guy. I would be like, this is I'm like we wasted money. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably what is going on. Would have wasted money been. twice though. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, he's gonna waste the money in it if he doesn't. Yeah. Ca- it's no, but we would have wasted my money as well. <laughs> yeah, it's better for one of us to have a good time. No, nah, no. Nah. If I was the guy, what's the I would be when you vets? get home. When it was the conversation when everyone's home. If I'm now? the guy or the girl, I'll be like, you know what? I'm so sorry. I thought you were gonna make the flight, yeah. but you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. like, if I'm the guy, it could be I'm gonna leave you after this. 
hundred percent. It could be, but the, the guy, guy's an yeah. idiot. No, if I'm the guy, I may, I may be I'm like, like I'm, and you know what he's gonna do? This take his, take his new learned like, common like, sense <laughs> into his new relationship. That's the motherfucker of guys. Well, he will take his newfound common sense into his next relationship. I mean, no, like, no, he'll her. find a woman who isn't her. going is to it? teach no, him a lesson. That's what I'm saying. But he'll also take that common sense. Every day is a learning day, man. Every relationship's a learning relationship. And you'll know what to do. Listen, I don't regret any relationship I've ever had because of whatever I've I've learned is a lesson. So what should she do? If a guy done this to me, bro, I'm leaving. Yeah. The girl can't do anything. You've got a holiday in it. But I'm saying what she should know is the ramifications of what she did. She may not have a relationship. Yeah. She she should be when she's having fun. She should be thinking I may not have a man. You know. And also she should have turned off the phone. She should have. You know what I would have done. I'd be like, you know what? The flight's about to leave now, you know. Yeah, all the way, yeah. Oh, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, babe. Yeah, well, like, oh, baby. I wish, oh, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. You might make, I, I, I may try to steal the gate. I'm stalling the gate. I'm trying She's sitting in the seat, but like, you'd be like, I'm speaking to the, the, the yeah. I'm speaking to the boarding staff. Like, you know what? That was what she did that was wrong. Yeah, she turned off the phone. That was bad, man. She should have done acting. Everything else. Oh, baby. She should have done performance. What? The car's still on the way. Oh, you're stuck in traffic. I've got a cab for you. I'm coming back. Oh, I couldn't get out of the bed with you. And then I that point he'll be he'll be like oh no she just tried. go just go yeah. without yeah, me yeah you go yeah, and enjoy yeah. yourself yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she didn't yeah. play it well she didn't play it well <laughs> she's stupid she make him come up with the idea yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like are you sure it's yeah. so much are you sure you want me to go without you <laughs> so much gymnastics <laughs> All right, all she right, shouldn't all have right. a man. So she, <laughs> she should come back to no man. She, yes. And he should move on yes. and find a woman yes. that would carry his documents. I'm, I'm saying no, with no, that. No, I don't think she should, but if it was me, yeah. You're basically saying she should. And he should <laughs> leave her and go find a woman that will carry his documents even when he cusses her for carrying no, his he documents. Should be on no, his own. It's he what should he also is, be on his own. He what, what he is going to find is a woman that is going to carry his documents yeah. and he can cuss her. Even well. though he cusses her. He as wants well. a mum. He wants an abuse. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. He wants a mum. Okay, the, the, another thing is like there was that ridiculous death prank, um, celebrity death prank where children, this majority was with white children who were saying to the mum, dad, blah, blah's died. And then idiot, the reaction of that. Let's so move on. Now, no, 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 I've got idiot seriousness. Team. So Courtney B. Vance and Angela Bassett's son did it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then he was made to do an apology to the camera. I'm so sorry for my behavior. So on the back of that, mm. I was thinking, our black parents, do we police our children too hard to just have fun in nonsense? Are we too strict on them? Do we remove the element of freedom and frivolity from black children? Because he was just in a prank that was trending. Is it was it? a stupid you prank. You see, you see, but you see, you see, <laughs> being black in the Western world it's is a not. serious matter. Yeah. I understand. Yes. So you see, as much as you want to be frivolous, do you know what my partner say something to the boys and I think it's genius. She's like, they're like, oh, I did it by accident. She's like, no, no. be intentional. Yeah. Mm. Be intentional about everything you do. Don't do anything by accident. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Wait, and, and, you know, and it's hard to be intentional about because yeah. most adults are not intentional yes. about everything mm. they do. But it's actually a really important standard. Definitely. For yes. black boys especially. Yeah. Mm. Like be intentional. Don't be rolling with a man then by accident, yes. not knowing yeah. where you're going mm. because you might get stopped by police exactly. and your brethren might have done something. Like be very intentional. Yes. And actually like... If you want to be frivolous, be frivolous in your own house, not on the internet, exactly. not in the world. Be frivolous with us, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah not yeah, with the yeah. world. You can't okay. post it. I think exactly that. You can't. You can't post it. Your parents are stars, yes. and you did a prank on another star that has yes. worked with your mum. Yeah. It's I, stupidity of the highest order. It's even a beating. Yeah, 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 it's even a beating. Sixteen yeah, yeah. years old. You're too stupid. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're actually yeah. You're too privileged. No better. Yes. yes. But definitely, and can't have that. as parents, no I do think we are we are harder, but yeah. it's because we have to. And the world, I'm not going into. I've got to teach my son is like how the world is going to be to them. No, but it is that. It's about having good intentions. You, you don't have the luxury to take your foot off the pedal. Mm. So don't don't how just do think we... I can flow like everybody else. You can't. It's different. It's a different world. You have to be intentional. Trust me. I agree. I agree with what you're saying. I'm just asking questions because I'm like, how do we? Okay, we have to wrap it up. I can I ask my one question? That, that prank though. <laughs> That prank is terrible. No, no, no. It wasn't prank. funny. No, that prank. It, it was, wasn't funny. The reaction. Some were hilarious. No, 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 no. One of them made me laugh. None of them no. made me laugh. The reactions were hilarious. stupid. I was like, you lot are actually dumb. Now, what the hell is your cousin? Oh my God! I know, but what the fuck? You saw how people were crying over the Queen, like it was like their grandmother had died. That's even I know I get the but the reaction like some of the most like I wouldn't advise any black. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. 
Well, you might actually get boxed by your parents. No, because well. I would be that. I would be like that. That'd be stupid. I would. I would. It's not. It's not going to end well. It was, I. I really didn't think any black kids were going to do it. No, I was like, you know, it's not going to end well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Madness. All right. So, so well, we can, we're going to revisit this about parenting. <laughs> Femi, just wanted to check in with you. What? Are you asking? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting me back because I reacted earlier. I supported you in the basketball. Um, just want to have a quick. Guess check in. We you know just check what's going on with what, you. How's life? How's life? What's like, happening what's the with you? What's the projects Life is coming good. Up? Life is good. Mm. I've got um, lots coming up. Mm. I'm reading a script this weekend that they're looking for a director that I might do okay. actually. So I'm still nice. reading it. Um, but yeah, um, what are we doing this year? The first thing we're gonna do is we are putting out a film called Trapping. We've had it for two years, and it's about county lines and mm. it's about this kid. He wants to like. You want because normally when they do these types of films, it's like some adults and they manipulate mm. the kids. Like, but is this kid? He's poor. He wants to like sell drugs, but he wants to do it off ends mm. because you make more money because all the rappers say going conch is lit. So then he does it and it's not lit. Yeah. And so, the, <laughs> and so the film's about that and that's coming out probably in March, and we're launching off a platform. We'll probably say more about it later. We're, we're using it. We're setting up our own platform to release that on, just to okay. like okay. test the market and test cool. the appetite to see whether that works or not. Mm-hmm. And um, that's starring Dylan Duffus, myself, okay. lots of young actors, um, Abracadabra, the drill rapper, mm-hmm. who's actually like an amazing actor. Like you, when okay. you watch it, it'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. Like, but. He's like incredible. He's like the best thing. Brings so much energy to that mm-hmm. film, and so we're trying to put that out probably like before March, probably in March, and um, that's like first quarter, and then second quarter the aim will be like we'll probably be shooting. Um, I want to shoot. I want to direct something in the US this year, mm-hmm. ah. um, because I just feel like we've done UK things for so long mm-hmm. um, that I just want to do something different. Yeah. Um, and I've got a project. I want to shoot something in Nigeria, but it might not happen this year. Nice. Um, but I definitely, this year, what could happen in the next few months is that like, we're shooting something in the US, which is more likely. And it's just the same old stuff, man. Like, we're, we're trying to get the evolution of Black British music nominated for the BAFTA. So it's on, like, you know, we put it forward. That'd be so brilliant. Hopefully yeah. that, that happens. Well done for that. Um, I don't know. There's lots going What's on. Going on? Yeah. But there's not lots that I can talk about yet. That's, that's <laughs> always the way. I mean, that that no, but there's lots going on. There's lots of exciting. I'm trying to bring back cut the chat, like I was saying before, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. which is important well, because you. I just feel like you know we need to pod. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Sounds good. Um, big up Nikki. You didn't make it, Nikki. Your business partner. I mean, yeah. Again. Big up Nikki, man. Yeah. Like, there's, there's like there's, we have to have him back. And Nikki's got like lots of other business stuff that he's doing. Like mm. I know Nikki's like working on a restaurant. Like oh, wow. together. Um, like. Nikki's um Nikki's always like someone was asking me, I was like, Nikki will always be good man, don't yeah. worry about Nikki because that man's got like, stuff. like all the he's like the most entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurial person I've ever met in my life. He's just got a million ideas, man. What is your what's your yin and yang? How do you not work? Should we I don't want to should we pause? What is that? Is it my phone? No, my phone's no, no, I think it's one of the headphones. Yeah. I think you made kicks one and it's just No, it was in it before I was trying to be like, this one. Yes, that one. Yeah. It needs to be Because even if it's over there, it's not so bad. Or if it can be taken out. It can be taken out. It's stopped now. It's stopped now. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Um... Yeah, how do we work? Um, sometimes we focus, obviously we've got different speci- specialities. I can't say all these words that I can't say to them. <laughs> like, but I can, there's so many other words I can use that I can say. It happens, it happens to me all the time. Like, you know, very like, time. Um, we've got different things that we bring to the table. So I suppose like there's like stuff that we do ourselves, like mm. that are just like personal interest stuff. And there's as much as possible, we seek to collaborate on everything. Okay. If that makes sense. So yeah. like if someone comes to me with something, uh sometimes Nikki doesn't do it, I'll be like, Oh, do you wanna do this? And if he gets back to me <laughs> we do it or it sometimes it just doesn't get back to me, but I wanna do it anyway. Like we're both quite stubborn. Like that's one thing yeah. that we've got in common. 
we're both quite like, oh yeah, I want to do this, and no one's gonna tell me I'm not gonna mm. do it. Yeah. And sometimes it's good to have someone next to you that's as ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and be like, yeah, I want to do it too. I think we should do it. The world's against us. They think yeah, we're yeah, idiots yeah, for yeah. doing this, and we're gonna prove to them that we're okay. not idiots. Yes. Like, not. <laughs> and so like we 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 feed each other in that way. Like that <laughs> we just like like we basically make both our ridiculous ideas seem reasonable mm, and then yeah. figure out a way to do it together and so like in a way that's how that's how we work like that's like that. that's the best way to describe it and then there's other ridiculous ideas that it's even too ridiculous for your partner and they're just like you know what that's you, know, mad. you, you, you do just that. do that <laughs> yeah. or like or like they just don't like Nikki will tell me something oh that sounds sick like you should do it like this and this and this and then oh. I just don't do nothing with it and so um but We've got a production company, Fan Studios, um, that we run together. Most of our projects go through that. And then we just got our individual separate little things that we do. Like and so like Fan Studios actually owns London Lions. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. Like has a minority state yeah, London yeah. Lions, rather than like for me and Nikki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so it's a business. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Anything else, guys? Um no, no, that was it. I just wanted a, a quick check in. A quick check in. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, okay, guys, what's made you sad, mad, and glad this week? Who wants to go first? Uh, okay, I will. I can go. go. Yeah. Um, Never sad, mad, or glad. I'm always happy. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> that means you are glad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my sad this week. Um, you know the story that came out about the firefighters who yes. fought the blaze in Grenfell and now they've been diagnosed with um, terminal cancer? Mad. And that seems to be the one fire that all of them. 14 so mm. they're putting it down to that um yeah that super made me sad everybody can i add to that yeah so I, I met one of my friends she's a teacher from near grenfell and she said like the school that she teaches at primary school there are two it was a two form entry um school so like each year had two classes yeah and um she said because of grenfell they've gone down to one yeah a lot of the families left or were forced to leave yeah and um one of the families that she teaches um is still in um, temporary housing wow. no uh, way after all this time wow and so oh and word. so in a way it's like that was just the fallout of that and the way it was handled was awful and it's actually had effects on knock on people and families yes. in yeah. a way that we, we 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 don't even really engage with yeah it's Horrible. disgusting that's uh um Horrible. and then my mad is the price of gas i'm just sick and tired of getting large bills in it's really pissing me off so that made me mad this week and i'm super glad to be back in the studio with you guys my Yay. pod sisters it's been yeah. a while man it's been a while feels like almost a month in it i think so, it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay my side is keenan anderson another police killing in america by lapd oh, this yes. time the murder was by a black um, policeman <sighs> make of that what you will um and there was a dr- that drive-by shooting in houston um mm. you know at a funeral at a funeral a little girl was hit and two other people i think um it's just another way to start the year isn't it um i'm mad at the government um just generally i'm just mad and i'm also mad i bought a new rug from ikea it's dark blue and he's cleaning every four minutes yeah I, it's it would a beautiful be. rug i just did not comprehend oh really a dark rug shows dead because i haven't had a rug i don't i haven't had a rug in my front room ever i've just <laughs> had the floorboards and it's just something i didn't think about all right and i'm also glad to be back and my daughter's back from holiday missed her and my dad's walking without support. Oh, brilliant. His, oh, well done. Um, Excellent. Stroke. Wow. Nice. Um, my sad and mad is just that I'm back, not with you guys, but back in the UK. I hear you. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, because it's Where did so you go? Gray. I went to New York and Cancun. But New York's snow. You know, it was. It wasn't actually as cold. It was bright and warm, actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That sounded yeah. mad yeah. defensive. No, yeah. no, no, that's what I laughed at. I was like, she's already a New Yorker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't talk about my state. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm all day, like, every day. Super cold and stuff. One day when I was out jacking, all sorts. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. New York. To- yeah, yeah. That's different. It was cool. And then we went to Cancun for been. five days. And that was lo- that looked lovely. So lovely. Yeah, I don't so blame nice. you for being vexed at being. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. sad. I'd be sad and mad at that. Yeah. So yeah, that's my glad, and yeah, that's it. Yeah. I don't know if I have these mapped up like this. Like you guys seem to have it on point. I am. I am <laughs> sad about anything. I can't really think about anything I'm sad cool. about. Anything you know? I'm mad life about? is good, man. That's um, good. Anything I'm mad about. There's lots to be mad about in life. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Like there's just Every there's just so know. many things to be mad about, but um, like. 
I don't know. I'm rubbish at this. Sorry, That's fine. Guys. You're not you're if you don't have a sad or a mad, are you glad? Are you happy about life? Have you got a glad? Do you you're know glad. what? I'm optimistic about this year. I'm optimistic okay, about go. what's yes. going to happen. I mean, there's... there's um, I went to... Yesterday... To watch... I went to the KSI fight. I didn't oh. stay for the whole time, right? I was invited. Uh, I went. I called Nikki. I said, Nikki, do you want to come? Like <laughs> I said, he gets the first phone call and then it's up yeah. to him what yeah, he does right. with it. <laughs> right? So I called Nikki. He said, yeah, I want to come. So like, we, he picks me up from and we drive to this KSI fight. It's sold out, Wembley. Yeah, no. And like, these kids are not even boxers. And they've, they're selling out arenas. He's they're sold out Wembley? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Wembley like Arena, not stadium, yeah. arena, but okay, still, okay. that's yeah, a lot that's of massive. people. Yeah. And then, so Wembley yeah. was sold out, and then and then also they've got um, they've got um this drink that oh yeah the prime yeah. yeah, and then the guy makes top ten in songs. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, how. he does. Yeah. He makes top ten songs, and 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 so I just feel like actually, I am glad that you know this is a black kid like that has managed to like benefit Nigerian. yeah benefit from the fallout of um you like, you know, so exactly Nigerians love Nigerians yeah, like, being properly, successful you're Nigerians love that. Nigerians I mean, being love successful we love the success but, uh, Nigerians love to that he's, he's, he's one of us yeah like, <laughs> I would do the same if he's Ghanaian I would do the same he's a Niger <laughs> boy but well, yeah but like for me I just I, I, but what it do, what it did reaffirm to me is that actually you can you can dream ridiculously yeah. mm. because it's ridiculous to think like YouTubers and it wasn't just him. I didn't even watch all the fights. I, I got tired. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and so I left uncle. <laughs> and so, and so, and so like I'm watching these YouTubers that some of them I've never heard of. Yeah. Like, and people going mad. Yeah. yeah. Mm. 10,000 people going mad. And I just thought, you know what? There's no ridiculous dream. No. no. Mm. I like that. Then I say that there's that thing about like, to be successful, you have to be delusional. Yeah, yeah. there's do. no other way around it. So yeah. yeah, you're lucky to have found somebody to be the delusional, delusional with. with. <laughs> I'm glad that you came up with that lovely ending. So thank yeah. you, Uncle yeah. Femi, and I'm glad we we're glad that you're here today. Thank yes, you. thank you, thank, thank you, you. Thanks, thank you, everybody, thank you, aunties. Yes. No, you didn't talk about Prince Harry. I wanted to talk about. Oh, Prince Harry wait, that was on the list, and we had to. Wrap. to is he Prince Harry? No, we got to talk about go, 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 go. You're the one who's yeah. got to go to the No, meeting. I do, I do. Okay, but let's. Like, I told them it. I let's might do. be a little. Oh no, wait, wait. Let's bring it back to what have you heard from me? No, do you know what the <laughs> Prince Harry thing? Yeah, I think is 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 the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> like, but I'm gonna summarize it. Like Jay Z said, nobody wins when the family, family feuds. feuds. Yeah, <laughs> facts. Because facts. he's saying the most, and I just feel like actually I've got two sons, right? Mm. And like my sons sometimes fight each other and argue and all of that stuff. But don't start telling. <laughs> <laughs> Writing books no, like, about it. Listen, I don't like I don't Harry, Meghan, the way they were treated. I'm not as into it as everyone else. I've not watched their Netflix show. I'm never going to watch their Netflix show. It's not for me. All of these things, not for me. Not interested. I don't care about people I don't know like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I'm not, I don't care about celebs. I don't care what Jay-Z and Beyonce are doing. I don't care. Even the Meg The Stallion thing, like you said, Mm. like I know some of it. So when you're like, oh, there was a news, I knew there was a news, um, there was a recording that was leaked, but I just don't really follow it because it doesn't pay me. (laughs) And so, but like when I'm looking at some of the stuff this guy said, you're doing too much. It's too much. I don't think he's doing enough. I think he's doing enough. But what I think is now, it's even more apparent based on, when we discussed it, and especially the clip where Auntie Shadi was saying about the fact that Megan, they were happy to be the face of the um, the, the empire, Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Sorry, yeah. I can't get my words. And then because it didn't suit them, this is becoming more apparent that now Harry is like, that I didn't say that they were racist. My mm. family was racist, well, he and it's, he, he didn't yeah. say verb for verb, but that was the narrative that they didn't stop. They accentuated that narrative that yeah. the royal family wasn't racist, and it now seems he's kind of trimming the edges of what's been put out there to in order to re build the relationship with his family which I understand that but then it's like the expense of everybody that got mad and rallied behind you so there's certain things that now don't also slightly ring true in the narrative that you put out oh, there oh from him so, saying that and my family things, are not racist yeah th- certain things like that however I think go in because he said now apparently he's come out and said that there's more that he could say but he's not yeah, yeah. say yeah. it yeah. Yeah. No, he's, he's setting up a sequel for you like. yeah that's, that's what he's doing he, he, he said he said there's series. enough stuff for the another book yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the new spec. <spend. laughs> yeah. let's, let's have a, let's have another <laughs> let's have another one I want him to damage them Thoroughly, and then it ends. Yeah, yeah, to go. Yeah. So, to go. expose all of their business. Like, who, we all knew William was a little shithead anyway. Yeah, so like, that's not surprising. That feeling, 
yeah. you know he's and his dad is also like mm. he 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 painted his dad to be very lily livered mm. and no authority yeah mm-hmm. and for a king i would be vexed at that if i was charles i'd be like don't paint me out to be a fool well, it's, it's not power it's, it's a ceremonial but king. Yeah. You always don't want like, your son painting that no, he, all the day from day one do you know what i mean so must, all day. but i think he's doing it to be personable like personable to them and like literally hurt them he's mm. being petty I, I think like some of the things and also as well I get like it's like say it's a tell all book where he's literally telling all and yep. some things we don't need to know about we don't need to know about your penis we don't need to know about your oscillating pain we yeah. don't need to know I about didn't that. know that was it's true right. I thought that was a, I thought that was a, like a oh, did you think it was a deep fake I saw, I thought no, it from, no, no, um, no, no, no. I saw it from Munya's um, uh, clip so I thought he was just getting someone to do like a impersonation oh, no. and no, he was no, exaggerating yeah. how so he actually so really really yeah. he's talking stuff. about his penis and the circumcision his todger yeah. his todger. Todger. so for real for My real for real. you know Elizabeth Arden yeah <laughs> that his, his mum used I use that daily now oh, I'm like but well, that sells from Elizabeth Arden that was good though 30 pound lip seal love it love to see it it's brilliant I know but that's what he was putting on his on his willy that's big money big money that's endorsement yeah it's all of the levels to that part though where he's talking about putting it on his willy and his mum used to use it and then, and he, then he, he got transported the straight it's to I, I, was that I was like uh, uh, I thought that was no, a joke yeah. no it's no. uncomfortable no. it's a lot yeah it it's uncomfortable that that was that an uncomfortable was, yeah. it's a tell-all book what do you expect from a tell-all and book and Camilla <laughs> not that it didn't need <laughs> to tell- be that he, he went in on Camilla as well what did he say about like Camilla he basically calls her exactly a wicked stepmother she played the long game she basically she like tra- she wanted finish. power. She's there for power, yeah. and Charles just facilitated that. But we yeah. know that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think is, she was after power though. You know, absolutely. I was a bit like, oh, really? Man, women stay there in the cup. I'm not living. You're going to have that. I'm not, the, I don't care about your your princess. That princess it's there. Going to be it's me. going to be me. Yeah. Going to be and me. she yeah. made it. <laughs> she made it. Honestly, she made in it. In the conspiracy theory streets, her grandmother had a similar dalliance with another royal and was like, I want to be queen. Yeah, so it's like, it's supposed she to be in her family. Yeah. But people are crying at uh, Harry saying that he shouldn't be mad at her. I'm just like, are you Are crazy? you right? But it's that's more like, as yeah. usual, the madness of the reaction that people haven't even read the book. No, yeah. But yeah. They I'm just not reading it. this I'm book. I'm not going to read the book. I'll be I'm honest, like, I'm not I've watching a show. Enough. I'm not reading a book. I, it's too, no, it's I, have, too much. I have it on Audible. I haven't finished it there. Oh, but yeah. I, I'm nosy I'm, like that, man. I want to hear what's going on. I'm, I'm not. I'm so not. I said I'll I'm buy not. it for us. If I buy it for us, I might. Yeah. You know what it is? I'll, I, I'm not nosy. I want your review of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just quick things, quick things. And we trust your opinion. Like, take it from a trusted source. All right, all right, all right. I do think that Harry, like, I think, like, he needs to be careful because the tide will turn. Oh, Do you know what I mean? And it's turned already. It's, yeah. I don't think it's fully turned, but it will it will turn when we don't want to hear anything. Megan's doing all right at the moment. Auntie's no don't best. Talk. Yeah. Auntie's no best. Mm-hmm. The family f- function, they they get the royals together. Harry turns up, everyone's in the room. What's yeah. the conversation? How do they nip this in the bud? How quick, do they quick reconcile? Result. How do they reconcile? Quick results. He's not going to be on a guest list, bro. No, bro. No, no, no. It's been called the family it is in conflict. So, so we're a part family, of the family. The, we're the family elders. Charles, Camilla, William, Funny. Kate... Harry, Meghan, I in the room. What's the conversation? How, How do, do we, we help them? You guys, we're in the I'm room saying, guys, we got to fix them, this. Look, like, just told the line, get in there and destroy everything. Destroy them all. Wow. Get back in and destroy, destroy the family. Them. No, but destroy them. this is in front of everybody. Yeah. Oh, in front of everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, this is family. We, we, we are yeah. like the, oh, if it's a family, we are like the family they elders. Have to be like, you know what? Yes, just relax. Relax, turn it down. Just say you're sorry. Back. Yeah, like no, no, no talking, no selling stories, but and all of that Charles stuff. So that means that means or everybody, no selling stories. Yeah, any stories that come out, you need to be like, it's not okay to speak about this member of our family in this way. You need to bunch in together, give the world a peace, a united front, a united front. Like this could actually change generations. If I was a part of their older crew, I would be saying, sort this Stop all this out now. and present a united front. And that would make you stronger and really give the world this fairy tale. We broke apart, we came back together, we fought against it the and now we're better. Season twenty nine. Yeah. I would like them to just like if they're wearing their jewels, I would collect them. Yes. I'll just collect the jewels. Everyone can pass them. <laughs> As the elder, pass, <laughs> pass, no, pass, 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 pass the buckets. Have you not seen yeah. them jewels? 
Like, have when you been when to I was Royal, in secondary have you been school, to the, the, yeah, I went to the Tower of London. Tower London yeah. yeah, when I was in secondary See, school. Like, oh, they shine, shine, boy. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not theirs. No, no, no. But when I mean that, like, forget, forget, they're not theirs. But like, really, to behold this jewelry, oh my gosh, it's they amazing. Shine. It's no, a- no, it's the most shiniest things you ever see in your life. Because they don't belong to them, they shine even more, and they shine because they connect to your African spirit. You know, they're not. I don't know. No. Anyway. No, I think when you go, because there's so much security. No, no, they're I real. Remember. You, can't grab it. you think they've got fake things there? And, um, and, and it's shining like that? No, no, I've seen jewellery. That was real. Um, <laughs> um, Femi, what's your advice to the family? If you're, they're all in the room. I have no advice. I don't like these people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not for them, I'm not against them. I'm just like, turning down, down the invitation. He's like, I'm not going. <laughs> you know what? I'd be like, you know, I thought it was a shoe. All right, guys. Thank you so much. As your answers could never. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to listen to us on all your listening platforms for the podcast. Don't forget to watch us on YouTube. We have a Patreon. We'll be back with our Patreon episodes. Sign up. The tiers are £5.10 pounds and 20 pounds oh yeah affordable for extra content more aunties more love more i want to ask questions but I'll keep going no, you need to go to your church meeting i want to say like how much like what do you get no leave us alone <laughs> <laughs> you'll get you what get you get you get more aunties you get more, more episodes aunties. after dark exactly yeah. more aunties talking aunties more stuff after dark you know for us. <laughs> that's your next project feature that you can't that's talk about funny. <laughs> that might be a good film you know it is <laughs> We'll be talking. Jeez. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.